Hey everyone, so it's Tiffany, and while it's fresh in my mind, sorry there's like a glare, but um, uh, I just called Chewy, and I told him that I had found a skyscraper, so this video is going to explain how to do skyscrapers, and um, but they basically are, it's kind of like the X-Wing, where um, if you've got, for example, the number three, if the number three can only exist in two places, so like for example, one right here and one right here, and also in another in another row in this instance, it could be columns too. But um, so that there's there can only be a three here and a three here, and there can only be a three here and a three here, and that's kind of like the X wing, except these don't line up perfectly. So that's why it's called a skyscraper because if I were to draw a little picture of a skyscraper, you know, it would have kind of like this slanty. Kind of like the one in Chicago, right? So, so you can look at it this way. So it makes kind of like a, a slanty roof. So this would be like the bottom of the skyscraper. And over here would be like the, its roof, okay? So now that you see the shape, uh, what's important about that is there's only three here and here. There's only three here and here. What you do is, I can explain why, but that would take forever and it would make the video longer. But, but basically what you do is these you you look at the top of the roof okay and you have to look and to see the empty cells that they both can see meaning this bottom you start at the bottom of the roof okay and then you kind of go towards the top and see if there's anything they both share or both can see so these two cells can both see this one which is why this cannot have a three, okay? This cell can see this, and this cell can see this. So that means either way, if this one's a three, this one can't be. If this one winds up being the three, if this one winds up being the three, then this one can't be. So that's why you can eliminate it. Then, so that means that they're, they're the only possibilities left in here are a one and a four. So that's not that helpful yet, but there's also one more cell that the rooftops can also see together, and that's this box right here. And what you do is you kind of take the top roof now and look towards the bottom one and say, okay, now this cell, this cell right here is in the same column as this one, and also the same house as this, as this one here. So hopefully that explains it. Rewind if you don't understand. But um, and sorry about the people working on the house. But um, <laughs> uh, hopefully that understands. Uh, that'll help you understand what a skyscraper is. All right. Just to recap real quick, the shape will look like this with the slanted roof. You find two possibilities in one row and two possibilities in another, a maximum of two possibilities in another. Then you look to the lower half of the roof and see what they have in common. Then you look at the higher half of the roof and see what they have in common. And then you eliminate that. So the reason you eliminated the three was because that's the number that we were working with. So there was a three here, a three here, only a three here, only a three here. The trick to this is finding it and then knowing what to do once you find it. So. Hope that helps. Good luck and thanks again, Shuey. Bye.